Welcome to the Contract Express Negotiations webinar. For those of you joining us, welcome. My name is Tanya Shuriaga and I'm the Senior Automation and Training Specialist at Thomson Reuters. I'm very excited to be hosting this negotiations webinar. Contract Express Negotiator allows a user to collaborate with other users to create and modify documents. Just like Contract Express Author, negotiations are managed by a Microsoft add-in. Today you will learn how to configure templates to support the negotiation of contracts both internally and externally. I will show you how to apply data synchronization, how to set up groups, configure your templates, use the negotiation ribbon, negotiate a contract, saving the changes and uploading into Contract Express, and also viewing the history. Before your organisation can negotiate contracts, your CE administrator must enable the negotiation feature through admin settings located under features. Remember to click Save. Once this has been enabled, the Tasks ribbon will become visible and your CE users can download the negotiation add-in. It's important that data synchronization is enabled. Contract Express will add content controls to the document wherever a questionnaire variable appears. When saving an edited contract, the negotiation toolbar updates the questionnaire. To apply data synchronization, go to Admin, go to Profiles, and either create a new profile or amend an existing one. Scroll down to Documents. Locate Support Data Synchronization. Switch it to Yes. And make sure you save your changes. Groups, such as your HR team, can be created by your CE administrator to assign specific CE users as internal negotiators. To create a group, go to Admin, Groups, and click Add Group. Enter the group name and add the required members to the group. Clicking Save. To configure your templates, locate your templates via the Templates ribbon. Click on the hyperlink. Making sure that your template is set to Live and Shared. Apply the profile. making sure you click Save. Next, go to Negotiation. Add a unique title and add the users or group. Under Notifications, you will see that you have a request, a forward and a complete. The initial request, which is sent to the user or group requested to negotiate the contract, or the forward button. Once the negotiation has been flagged as complete, 
the requester will receive an email to let them know that the negotiation process has been finalised. You must make sure that a subject line and a message is entered in every email. You can also apply metadata or variables. I will now demonstrate how the negotiation process works. Firstly, I will log in as a user. By going to my Documents tab and clicking New Document, I can now generate a template. To speed things along, I will upload previous answers. Once I have generated my document, by clicking Save and Close, I then have the ability to request a negotiation. By clicking this button, it will send an email to the HR team to begin the process. As a member of HR, I will receive an email to let me know that a negotiation has been requested. I can access this contract by clicking on the hyperlink within the email. I can also locate this negotiation via the tasks. This can be forwarded to another user or revoked. To begin the process, the user must select Grab. They can then download the document and open it up in Word. I will now use the Negotiator ribbon. To get the process started, I click on Negotiate to get the status. It will ask me to add my credentials. I am able to view the contract information by clicking Contract Info. It will show me my contract ID and the name and any metadata. I can also check that I have the correct connection settings. If I need help, I can click on Getting Started. To begin reviewing this document, I can use Tracked Changes. Contract Express have put the same tracked changes as located under your Review button in the Negotiate and Toolbar. This makes it all easy accessible in one spot. To apply track changes, click on track changes and make any necessary changes.
content controls within this document will make changes to the questionnaire. I can then save those changes and close my document and send it through to my client for further external negotiations. I could then also mark this up as external review. Once the client has made their applicable changes, I can then open up the document and I can change it back to internal review. I can accept all the changes Firstly, I'll switch off my track changes and accept all the changes. This will analyse my document and let me know if any further changes need to be made. By clicking Save, It will update the questionnaire provided this has been selected. I'm now requested to review the contract. Contract Express has let me know that this calculation is incorrect. It's also let me know that I've made a previous change here, but have not applied it here. Once I click Save, I can close this document And go back to my dashboard. If I wanted to make further changes to the questionnaire, I can click Edit Questionnaire and make those changes. And now lets me know that I need to merge my manual edits. To do that, I select the three buttons under Actions and view my versions. By downloading the previous version, I can go to my negotiator ribbon and merge changes. This will keep the current version.
Contract Express is now reviewing my document and making all the changes tracked. You can see where I made some textual changes and where I've also made changes to the questionnaire. Once I'm happy with those changes, I can accept all my changes. And then I can save those changes back to the dashboard. Our document has now been saved successfully. With the toolbar, you can view other versions and you can also compare two versions. You can also edit the questionnaire via the negotiator toolbar. And if you click show changes, it'll show you the changes made to your document. Once this is finalized, close your document and return to your dashboard and mark the document as complete. It now shows that the document has been manually edited. As the user, I will receive an email to let me know that the negotiation has been completed. I can access my contract by clicking on the hyperlink. I'm able to view the history of this document and I can view any answers that have been changed. It also shows me who created the original document and who has negotiated. By clicking on the little arrows, it will give me further information. Any comments made will also be located here. If I wish to view all the different versions, I can click on the actions and view all my versions. Each version is able to be downloaded.
Now that this process is completed, my document is ready to either be sent for signature or downloaded and sent through to the client. I'd like to thank you for joining us. And should you have any questions, please contact, contact us at contractexpress-support at thomsonreuters.com 